Yeah, probably the, the thing that happens most um, is that the fibres don't actually adhere properly to the silk tissue. Mm -hmm. And sometimes half of it does and half doesn't. And then when you're felting it, it will felt on top, but it hasn't actually yeah, penetrated. penetrated. So then I would let it dry and then I use my needle felting machine yeah. to adhere the parts that haven't attached to the silk tissue. And then sometimes I would need to re-roll it and yeah, after felt it again felt. after I've needle yeah. felted to finish it off. That's the challenge ahead for the gentle roller. We'll see how it copes with with this piece, whether we have to resort to the needle felt. Okay, Julian, it's it's finished and it's dry. Um, what's your opinion of your day spent using the gentle roll? Yes, I would uh, definitely recommend it to anybody. I found that uh, by putting it in the roller, yeah, it saved a lot of physical rolling, but it's also got a beautiful professional finish. Um, I am so happy with the end result. You won't have to go back and needle punch some Yes, of there's no extra um, hours or time uh, needs to be spent on it finishing it off. It's, um, it's that a beautiful job. Yes. And, um, and what I achieved in a day, we probably normally I'd have to set aside, you know, every day for a week. Yeah. Well, well thank to you. To get this kind of finish. Thank so. you for coming in and showing our viewers that, you know, whatever type of felt you make, the gentle roller can really make a difference to, to your working and, and felting life. Yes. We'll leave it there. Trio. I'm hooked. <laughs> yeah, she's hooked. I'm hooked.